always want to make sure that you can slide a hand between the seat in front and the actual seat shell. So you don't want it braced up against, you don't want it, some of them allow slightly touching, but usually that hand is a good rule of thumb. Safest position is always the middle because it's the furthest away from any point of impact. So if you can get it installed in the middle, great. If not, that's totally okay too. We have our rear facing belt path, which is right down here. We can install with either seat belt or lower anchors. Both are just as safe. There's usually a place that they are stored. So these just click onto a little bar on the side of the seat. This one's nice because it has the push on connectors. So you don't have like that little alligator clip that you have to push together. It just pushes straight onto the bar. And then you push the little red button to take it off. With these, it has a little thing that says up, but usually best thing to remember is you wanna remember the fat part always goes on top. So this one, all we're gonna do is we're gonna slide it on. We're gonna find our button that shows our lower anchors and we're gonna just slide it right onto that. There we go. Wanna hear that click? What you wanna do is you wanna make sure you get as close to that button that tightens it as you can and you're gonna pull it nice and tight. You have a couple of different options. You can either do like what I'm doing here where I have my elbows in the seat. I'm kind of putting my weight into it this way. Usually won't get it real tight doing it this way. Usually my recommendation is if you can come from the back, which you usually have to push that down for it. So just like the infant seat where you're putting your weight into the back of it, we're pushing it into the seat back and putting my hips in the shell and then I'm pulling it nice and tight here. And what that does is it gets it so that you can get one inch or less at the belt path. So it's not going anywhere, it's nice and tight. 